Hello everybody! Today we're going to look at all of the changes and updates we've made to the EG4 Electronics Monitor Center since the release of the 18 KPV back in April of 2023. It's been nearly a year so there's many additions that have been made to the web app to improve your experience. On the login screen there is now a visit demo station option. This will give you a full range view of a couple of demonstration inverters that we have set up at our R&D shop in EG4 Electronics. Starting from the monitor tab on your customer account, there is now a parallel sync option if you have a multiple inverter setup. This will allow you to combine all of the outputs into a single screen to see a full system going at once. There is also added options for a premium Tyco account to display PV module monitoring and EG4 battery module monitoring. For the 18 KPV, there is a start backup battery option that you can enable. This will keep your battery charged or charging to the specified maximum until you disable the option or no other power sources are available. Great for anticipated or pre-planned grid outages. Not much has changed under the data configuration or overview tabs, so we'll skip those for now. The maintenance tab, however, has had quite a lot of expansion, so we'll go through these tabs piece by piece. The remote set tab has many changes. Firstly, users of the 6000 XP will notice an entirely different set of settings and rules that they can adjust for their inverter. The different architecture between off-grid and hybrid calls for different settings. As a quick overview, you can set the voltage and frequency, as well as the timeframes you want AC to be bypassed. You can also set the charge current limit and charge voltage if open loop, AC charge logic, generator charge logic, the max input size of your generator, which is important for gen boost and discharge logic. The 18 KPV settings have been rearranged a bit as well as included some changes to the verbiage for easier understanding. There's also a newly added off-grid mode which allows your inverter to operate as an off-grid inverter without interconnecting to the grid. There are a few additional settings on here that the 6000 XP does not have such as AC coupling. There is also a new working mode tab that has a redesigned UI for easier commissioning. Under working mode settings, you can select the mode which you would like to use in your application and adjust those settings specifically. If you'd like to use multiple, then there is a start and end time so that you can customize your timeline. The rest of the settings exist the same as in the previous tab. Under the next tab labeled weather optimize, you're able to configure your system to automatically charge the battery based on your local weather conditions. This is primarily useful if rain is expected to approach and there's a potential loss of power. You can think of this as the battery backup setting from earlier, only it's automatic as opposed to manual. Lastly, there is now a remote update tab which allows you to update your inverter's firmware from anywhere as long as you have access to the EG4 monitoring site. The standard update button under Action has the latest firmware for whatever inverter system you have built in. This will automatically update your inverter through the dongle, and it's highly advised to keep your inverter online during this time. If you have requests or suggestions for further features, please leave a comment. Thank you for watching, we'll see you in the next one.